What up, what up everybody, this is Styles Major here. Today's video is on a more serious topic. Um, you guys know I released my new song, um, Lost in a High, after I lost one of my close buddies to an overdose on my birthday. Pretty much lost my dad um, to the same thing. Um, he hasn't been in my life for years because of an addiction. And then um, I never thought that it happened to me, but in my late 20s, I'm 30 now, and up until you know a matter of months back, now I'm sober, but I had an issue with alcohol and cocaine use. And um, yeah, so today's video, I wanted to talk about um, the glorification of drugs in the hip hop community. Um, one of my favorite artists recently that passed away was Little Pete, and he died from a uh, Xanax overdose, which was laced with fentanyl that he got from fans. And um, you know, that's such a tragedy. If you watch his documentary, Everybody's Everything, you, you see how much of a tortured soul he was, but how much of a talented, talented person he was and um it's really a shame that we lost him and i think he had so much more to offer the world and um you know little peep was somebody a lot of these artists who make it they make it because one they're very talented but they're very hard working and little peep a lot of people don't know he had a huge heart and he was very hard working very disciplined from what i hear he was very diligent in how he worked and um you could see it with all the content he made um you know but he was a very flawed individual and he didn't know how to deal with fame i mean he was already depressed before he made it i mean he was the he's the leader of emo rap like everyone who's who's big now in that genre like he he started it in my opinion you know uh, he kind of started that thing and you know so he was using the drugs to kind of facilitate numbing those those things and i don't think he ever was glorifying it he was telling you guys what he did but what happens in music is that all the young people and everyone else wants to follow that. I mean, I even noticed myself when I was using sometimes, I'd be listening to Lil Peep's album. And um, it's, 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 it's an unfortunate thing. And then we lose Juice World, And, uh, you know, it's so sad. I mean, look at Juice World; He was such an amazing artist. I just remember hearing about him, you know, um, you know, a couple years ago. And then, bam, he had all the success. And now he's gone, you know. So it's, it's a really, it's a real tragedy. And, um. I think the underlying real cause of these issues is um, is these artists not learning, not in, not knowing how to deal with the newfound level of fame because these artists already had anxiety and depression to begin with, and then you throw them into with all the stress, this pressure, um, this cancel culture, um, being judged, being critiqued, and, and it, it's an it's a recipe for disaster. That's why so many artists that you find struggle with substance abuse because artists are very fragile individuals. I'm an artist myself, we're, you know, we're very fragile individuals and we have, um, you know, a lot, we're, we're insecure individuals in ways with our art and um, then you get thrown into the world and these people, everyone wants to critique you and tell you you're wrong and this and that. And some of these guys that are young who get put into this situation, they don't know how to handle it. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a shame to see. And so, like I said, uh, the issue with drugs in the hip hop community and the music community in general, um, I think has more to do with, uh, more to do with, you know, people's underlying issues. I mean, you even look at Post Malone, he's a great artist, but I mean, come on guys, look at him. He looks like he's struggling. He looks like he's on all types of drugs and drinking. And it's like, how long is he gonna last before he ODs? And then there's Mac Miller and he, you know, Mac Miller was stories was crazy too, because, um, you know, I always question, you know, what was deeper in Mac Miller's pain because he, he seemed like he came from a good family, all these things. It's like, what what happened to him in his life? What kind of pain did he go through that made him so addicted? Because I remember in one of his documentaries, he was like, I never want to be sober. Like, I don't like the feeling. I got to be on something. And can you say it's just an addictive personality or is it deeper? You know, like, I think some of these artists actually never really opened up about some of the things they may have experienced. It's open for discussion. This is just, you know, I'm trying to have some dialogue here, guys, and just kind of, just kind of talk about it, you know. And um, it's just something I think about because I'm an artist. I've had some success. I've met successful people. I'm not going to say the person's name, but I've been, I've been on a, I've hung out with one of Post Malone's best friends, who's a really popular artist, and I've seen it firsthand with that guy. You know, he was, you know, the drinking, the drugs, and I can see how it was affecting him too, you know, and. Um, that lifestyle with the fast women and everything and all that crazy shit so um it's just something i'm thinking about you know because i got a lot of i got a great response from a lot of people recently and they were saying that um you know they love my new song because i'm an artist who's actually talking out against 
against drugs and alcohol and drinking and not enough people do and it's true i mean j cole was kind of doing that on one of his albums but it's you don't really hear about it a lot nobody really wants to talk about it it's taboo because the major labels don't want you to talk about per sobriety because the reckless they, they want you to get fucked up they want all this shit. It, it leads to more record sales you know what i mean so um just something very important you guys and you know i would highly uh recommend to all you guys who are artists or watching this is be careful man don't fall into that trap those vices those vices will take your talent from you those vices will kill you young do you think all those people should be dead that we we grew up idolizing and who died young and and you know no it's you know even johnny cash we're lucky that he survived what he went through but you know other people like elvis and other people that he came up with didn't you know um so many great talents were killed through through alcoholism drug addiction um and suicides because not being able to deal with the fame um some of these overdoses were accidental some of them you know probably had to do with not being able to deal with fame because you, you you take a normal person normal people can even be suicidal and have issues and then on top of that you make someone famous and they get everything thrown at them i mean look at justin bieber he made that song lonely i mean bieber was saying there was a period where he was doing everything because he had everything but he felt like he had nothing you know and um he had everything and he felt like he had nothing and it was like he was just trying to numb himself from his existence he wanted to rebel because everyone you know said he was this pretty boy and not a man and this and that so he went the opposite way tatted up started doing drugs you know and we're lucky we still have fucking justin bieber man justin if you ever watch this man shout out i'm so glad you're still here with us man um you know you're on the right path now but um it's something to think about you know um it's something to think about you know and even being somebody myself who, who experienced substance abuse problems and, and seeing it, I see my friends, bro. I seen myself, like last year when I was started doing blow and drinking a lot, like the year before I had 40 songs out in a year. Last year I released three songs. I thought my career was over, and it, but it was meant, for, I guess it was all meant for me to go through that to get where I'm at now because now I've recorded 12 songs in like a couple months and I'm on a wave right now. So uh, I'm riding it. It's been a process. I've been trying to get completely sober since I was about 27 and I'm 30. Um, and I got here, you know, I always know I get here. I have a lot of friends who never wanted to admit to figure out their sobriety and they, they still in it. And some of those people don't ride with me, me anymore. Like my sobriety and me raising my standards has, uh, has caused them to feel a type of way about me. So um, it is what it is. Um, I just want to open up this conversation, you guys, and, and talk about being sober and that it's good to be sober your vices destroy your soul who you are your vices take the god out of you uh, i'm telling you now being sober now for many months um i i am myself i feel like i'm that 16 year old kid again making music look at me guys i'm vlogging like i'm doing all this new shit i'm putting out a song every single i'm gonna be putting out a song every single day on um a song every single day on i mean every single every week on spotify I'm gonna put on a one to two music videos a month for the next year. That's I'm going completely in for made up for lost of time, and I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, and I, I just pray that a lot of the artists right now who are in the music industry, uh, independent and not, come on guys, let's be strong. We don't need that bottle. We don't need that alcohol. We need to stop glorifying that crap. I hear that so much in the emo, you know, community, emo hip hop community. Of, you know, this shit's not cool anymore. It, it's not cool. Like. Little Pete being dead from overdose, that shit is not cool. That dude, he was meant to have a family, man. He was meant to do more things. No, he wasn't meant to be dead right now. Like, people are like, oh, like, it was his journey. No, like, no, he he just got, he just, you know, he was making some, you know, he, it was, he was a victim of the circumstances or, you know, he was making, he wasn't able to conquer his demons, whatever, but let's not let his death and other artists' death go in vain. Like, to get this shit together doing drugs is not cool sober fucking 2020 21 sober is the fucking new dope like drugs is not fucking cool now don't get it twisted recreational use of people who like to mess around with certain things to open up their mind that's different i'm talking about addiction i'm talking about not dealing with your inner demons and using substances to fucking deal with them the reason people are depressed and have anxiety and all these things is because they're not in touch with their soul they're not eating healthy they're not sleeping right they're not getting enough sun they're not exercising they're not taking supplements they're not interacting it's a it's a complication of a deeper problem and uh we need to we need to figure that out you guys so um, um with that said you guys please hit subscribe 
um, and I would like you to hit post notifications and um, I would like you to uh, do that because I'm going to be releasing more cool shit like this. I'm, I'm speaking my truth. This whole channel now is going to be dedicated to you guys getting to know me, me talking about shit that I'm passionate about and me dropping dope ass music that's going to change the world that already has changed the world and, so, and that just is what it is. You know, um, self-belief is fucking everything, you guys. Whatever you're doing, believe in yourself. Don't know, don't let anyone rob you with that. You got to be on level 10. You feel me? So uh, with that said, to the right, you'll see a card. It's my new music video, Lost in a High. Like I said, it's making waves. It's changing the world. It's only been out for five days. It's got dozens, you know, tens of thousands of views already independently. And it's the best reviews I've ever gotten music. Please do me a favor. Go to that video. Comment on how addiction has affected you in your life and do me a favor and please I'm asking you to share that video with somebody on your you never know who's going to need it someone might need that video I'm bearing my heart it's the most real shit I've ever made one of the realest rap songs you'll ever hear in your life I'm telling you so uh, thank you guys for watching this is Styles Major I love you guys take care